Welcome back and it's Adriana here again and today I'm playing with one of the new releases from Couture Creations. This collection is called Flourish and Thrive. There is four stencils, stamp set and a die cut for each image. There are four images and I'm playing today with the Gravilla Blooms. It's a beautiful Gravilla bloom with flourishes and has wonderful sentiments around as well so they can create some great sentiments on your cards and projects even for your scrapbooking pages. They're really nice and they're individually cut through so there's some great words in there. I'm looking at this beautiful flower arrangement here and I'm going to create that image and show you how to do it with the stencils. It also comes with the die cut and also the four stencils to layer each individual one over the image so they're all marked one, two, three, four and once you've stamped the images I'm going to show you how you do the layering and it's really quick and simple with the sponge brush or the beautiful um, medium brushes that I have here from Couture Creations. These will work wonderfully in creating a stamped image with no fuss in colouring in. There is also a bit of a background in some of these stencils in this collection. This one here has got clouds so you can use that as a background um, on your project once you've done your beautiful flower. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to create step by step using the stamp set, the stencils and the die cut to get a beautiful, beautiful flower arrangement. So I'm using the Couture Creations Art Workstation. It's a great tool to help you layer the stencils on without moving and it helps you to line up things when you're doing stamping. So first of all I'm going to stamp the image onto some cardstock here. I'm placing the cardstock inside the Stamp Precision Stamp Press and I'm applying some ink to the stamp image and pressing down. This is a great tool with using these fantastic stamp sets. It's great to ensure that you have a beautiful stamped image. You can turn it around and stamp another image on the other side. That way you get two images in one piece of paper that you can colour in at the same time or separately. I use the Outline ink pad in black and I'm using some blending card stock because I'm going to use some pigment ink and also some dye inks to do my shading with the stencils. So once I'm ready to do that I'm placing that image holding it down with the ruler that's involved or is included in that artwork station holding down the stencils and the papers with the four magnets and choosing my colours that I want to create with. So I'm placing the, the first stencil which has the two blooms one on each side and I'm going to go in with a light colour and then go to the top with a little bit darker colour. So with my blending brush I'm just gently running that over the stencil so the colour goes through over the stamped image. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow and then adding a little bit of orangey red. Really quick and easy and you can do a quite a few, once you've stamped many images you can do quite a few of them at the same time. So once I've done that I'm going to twist the stencil around to position it over the stem because using the same stencil to make sure I can do the stem part and I'm going to use uh, two greens, a light green and a dark green uh, to give it complementary and sort of shadowing effect over the leaves and the stem. So I'm doing that very quickly now and then once that's done I'm going to do the leaves which is on the second stencil. So 
So that's done. I'll just keep quickly wipe down the stencils with a baby wipe. And now I'm using stencil number two and I'm going to use light green for the leaves. And you will notice that it doesn't cover all the leaves because the stencil for number, well, it does cover most of the leaves in this number two. So it does most of the background of all the leaves. And then with stencil number three, it does some highlighting. And I'm going to do that with a darker tone of the green. I have all the colours that I've used of all these um, dye inks uh, from Card Deco. They're in the link down below of my video. I just thought I'd add a little bit of yellow just to highlight a few things. I always find adding yellow to images just adds a bit of depth, really highlights them. So that's that part there and going to do now the stencil number three has the the sick those last two big leaves and also the background of the clouds but I'm not going to do the background of the clouds I'm going to use the same color to do those two leaves down the bottom because that's on stencil number three so stencil number three have a background of clouds and also the last two leaves of that grevillea branch again cleaning them off with a baby wipe so this one here is stencil number four and that has the highlights of those leaves so it's not doing the whole of that leaf it's just doing some highlights and I'm using the magnets and that fabulous magnetic ruler to hold that down in position while I use my blending brush to blush in a little bit of darker green tones to really highlight those leaves you can use any blending brush. You can even use sponge daubers as well when doing and creating with these stencil sets. So they are the top leaves and then I'm going to do the bottom leaf. Again, that is on the fourth stencil upside down and securing that again. And I really love these magnets are really, really nice and secure. They don't move and it's really good how they've got the grid lines on the artwork station to uh, make sure that your work is in line if, if you had to line it up with any items of that you need to do. Now the, the the red in the flowers, I wanted to make more red so I just wanted to position the first stencil again over the top of those flowers and just add a little bit more red. I didn't think it had enough red in those flowers. And this time I'm going to use the sponge daubers instead of the uh, medium brush or uh, yeah so I just thought I'd use the sponge dauber and that you can use quite easily with these stencils. So once I've done that I'm now ready to create to cut them with my die. So the die is included. I'm just going to position that and place a bit of washi tape to secure that die onto that cardstock um, so that way it doesn't move when I run it through my Go Power and Emboss machine. This is ideal running it through the Go, Go Power and Emboss machine. And once I've done that, it cuts out beautifully. Even those little intricate pieces there they cut out beautifully and then inside all those little white pieces all come out beautifully in one transaction one go through the go power and boss machine really wonderful machine so there you have I've done another one here so there you have my flowers um, I've done two and I've done actually a couple I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to create with these flowers and I've just done some projects here so these ones here are tags I've just added a word sentiment and I have the code down below in the description. It's got thanks and I've just added a, a, br a branch of that grevillea onto some cardstock that's being coloured with alcohol inks and some stamping. Here also I created another card. It's using the background stamps in the back which I have another technique I'm going to show you and I'll have the link of that video in the description below too of how I created that background with the background stamp. So really quick and easy, really versatile. You could add these to scrapbooking pages and also into your art journal. I'll be creating some more projects with this beautiful Grevillea flower. If you'd like to know more about any of our products, please visit couturecreations.com.au. 
please give a big like if you like this video please join my youtube so you don't miss out on any other inspirational projects thanks for watching and bye for now